What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Big Ox Uchiha. And first off, before we get started, go ahead and smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, because we got a lot to get into today. Um, I am up pretty late. It's 1:20 Central Standard Time, so I'm gonna do my best not to get too riled up and excited. Uh, but after reading what I read today, it's gonna be pretty hard. Okay, so uh, first off, again, go ahead and hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and tell me uh, just how you are doing today. I want to hear from you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. If you don't like this video, go ahead and hit the dislike button. I don't care. Whichever button you feel, because you know what? This is a place for free thinkers. This is a place for people who take the time and think for themselves and not just wanting to conform to what people tell them to do. Okay? That includes in Christianity. If you if you are conforming to an ideology that is telling you that you don't need to read your Bible every day, that is not something you want to subscribe to. Um, I would tell anybody on this topic before <laughs> that we're about to get into. I don't want to get into it too fast, but yeah. Anyway, um, GQ magazine wrote a article about the 21 books you should not have to read in the year 20 um 2018 and they considered and i'll let you read some of this for yourself g and this is from usa today it says that they have uh considered the bible the christian holy bible foolish repetitive and contradictory okay so get that into your mind foolish foolish repetitive and contradictory now personally I have to ask the question who under the age of like 50 actually reads GQ I mean really like who even reads GQ at this point I mean I think the first time I ever read a GQ I was like 13 years old and Tyra Banks was on like the cover okay that was that long ago okay in fact if you're from Cleveland <laughs> if you're from Cleveland then you would know that finest was not tops yet okay when I was 12 years old okay so this wasn't even during the time when this was days or tops this was how it was still finest okay <laughs> so it's 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 been that long since I looked at a GQ magazine for any reason, for any way, shape, form, or fashion did I ever find anything inner useful, okay? And I say that because it's like you're listening. Don't listen to people who have no idea about, A, what's in the Bible, or don't take offense to this because if this is what they believe, in fact, I'm going to say that like this, if this is what GQ believes, don't take offense to it. Just don't read it. Um, just don't subscribe to it. Don't put your time and your stock into things and people who do not have any value in you, you know, and when I look at GQ, I, I hear a company who honestly barely even talks about the African American, so I could care less about anything GQ has to say. So I'm not even surprised that they even said it. They're probably trying to shock us into finally reading their the thing, and even then, we're not reading someone else's uh, writing it out for us so we can read it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't even think anybody really cares about GQ that much. But for the, I guess there's a, a lot more, enough people for for USA Today to say it. So I will say this: the Bible is the Word of God. It's emphatically, the Word of God. If you believe that okay now you also have the right to choose not to believe that because Christianity unlike a lot of religions is a choice what this is <laughs> it is legitimately a choice it is not forced on anyone no one is telling you that you have to be a Christian you know no one has to uh, tell you to be a a good uh 
a good man or a good woman, you have to, you know, subscribe to only the Christian faith because that alone does not give you morality. You see what I'm saying? Anybody can be moral. In fact, the Bible says that he writes the laws on the hearts of the Gentiles. Okay, so that there, so we, even though we don't have the law, somehow, some way, we still carry out that law because it's already written on our hearts. Okay, and now, does that mean that every person that has the inclination just wants to be a Christian? No, but you have the right to deny Christ just as much as you have the right to accept Christ as your personal savior. You do not in any way, shape, form, or fashion are obligated by law or by religious faith or by us telling you, you must be a Christian. So anybody that tells you that is obviously lying okay they're lying to you okay so let's get that out the way now that we got the real hard stuff out the way let's get the easy stuff out the way isn't it kind of funny to you is it is it just me or is christianity the easy relation religion to go after I want to hear what the Hebrews have to say, the Jews have to say. I would love to hear what they have to say on this topic and how they feel about these. But they're probably thinking the same thing that I'm thinking. This is their choice and they have the right to it. If these are GQ's belief systems. If this is what GQ signed up for and said, yeah, this is it. But I, I'm here to tell you, it's also a lot of the leftist way of thinking you know it's a leftist mindset you know it's, it, it may be some right right side folks too you see what i'm saying but mostly left okay see this was a little propaganda to you know keep throwing off at a morality of any kind see if you have christianity or a, a religion like christianity that tells you that you have a choice to choose you are now saying that this is a a choice for me to make which means i'm telling you to think for yourself what christianity tells me to think for myself absolutely choose this day whom you will serve that sounds like a choice you know you know it doesn't say uh, you know confess with your mouth and believe in your heart you know you know, this is something that the Bible says, you know, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart. If you don't, then the obvious answer is, uh, it's damnation in Christianity. Now, again, this is your choice. It is not forced on you. It's not told that you have to do it. And if you don't do it, then obviously you can't. You would never be loved by anybody. No, most of us Christians know that 99% of our families may not even subscribe to Christianity, even though they go to church every Sunday. Okay, everybody knows that every, we don't know what's in your heart completely. We, we just hope and pray that you have truly accepted him. That's all that we can hope for. You know, at the end of the day, it is still your choice to live. And even once you accept Christ as your personal savior, it is still up to you to live the life that is free from sin. That is also an option and a choice. We can't make you live like that. We will hope that you would. And if you don't choose to do so, we ask you to quietly dismiss yourself. But again that is on you there are a lot of cultural things that happen in the bible like they always want to point everybody back to slavery in the bible but they never tell you two sentences down that paul literally says if you have a, a zeal for freedom seek your freedom at all cost he said don't be ashamed that you were born in slavery what He's telling slaves don't be ashamed that you're born in slavery but what's the next thing he says to you know, find your freedom at all costs. What? Paul said that? Yeah, he actually said that two verses down. But they would never tell you that because the media would like for you to think, stop thinking for yourself. The media will hope that you will never take the time to make a good rational decision to come to, to, to read the Bible because the Bible has facts in there that we believe. OK, now, if you don't believe it's fact, you don't have to. But at the same time, 
everything you can go in there and look and say, hey, this is what Christians believe. This is their doctrinal statement. This is what they're going to tell you about. Okay. And that's okay. Some things they they say like uh, women are not equal in Christianity. That's not true. If that wasn't true, then <laughs> why is it that Jesus came down the line of Mary instead of Joseph? What? Here we go again. Here we go again. He came down the line of Mary, not the line of Joseph. <laughs> why is it that Jesus chose the first person to actually he came to listen to after he came out of his his fasting the first two that met him was two women oh the bible is sexist here's another one when um when the disciples went and they became apostles who was the woman who came to them at the um, after the cross it was mary madeline oh that's a woman there were two women who spoke Aquila and Priscilla, I believe their name were, they were also in the Bible. We don't give them any credit. How about the countless of women who, who helped along the way the Hebrews to get to the place where they had their freedom? Oh, they don't talk about that. Oh, wait a minute. You mean there was an absolute choice? What about Songs of Solomon, where Solomon talked about how beautiful his wife was and how equally blessed he was just to have her in his life? The whole book was built on how much he loved his wife, not how he looked at her disgustingly. He didn't objectify her. He was talking about how beautiful she is. The only person that would find that to be objectification is a woman who doesn't know what it's like to be complimented by a man. Or may have issues with their daddy. Just that simple. Because the foundational belief of Christianity is never to unequate women. It's to lift women up into their into a different role. Look. Just because they, we say some women are not allowed to be pastors. Okay, we say women are not allowed to be pastors. We don't say women can't go out and evangelize. We don't say women can't lead other women. We say, hey, you know what? Let men teach men. Let women teach women. That's not a bad thing. That's how things should be. Think about it like this. I am a man. I don't know nothing about what it's like to have a period. You know who does? Women. Okay? There are some some things that are better taught by a man. Your son learns so much from you. And me being a father of two boys, I know that my kids learn so much from me, their father. So it, is, it would be silly of me to say to anybody, oh, well, I don't need um, to have... Uh, any interaction with my kids you know what I'm saying I can say anything like that so why would I expect you know a, a woman to be able to teach my son to be a man no I need to teach my son to be a man she can show my son some things she can give him little tidbits that her dad said to her or you know whatever you know or her image or what she believe a man should be like but she cannot teach my son to be a man that's my job okay just like i can't teach a girl to be a woman i can give information on how to be you know women and but after a while i'm going to go find a woman any woman to teach my daughter all those things and then, in fact there's some things my daughter won't even want to talk to me about who am i to be going up to my daughter talking about you ready for that training bro huh you ready for that training bro let me go take you to the mall to get that training bro <laughs> Let me, let me, uh, hey, how's that period helping you? You know, you bleeding yet? You, you're about 10 years old. You, you ready for some pads? You see what I'm saying? Like, who am I to come up to my daughter and invade her privacy like that? I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I would need a woman's touch for that simple thing. And it's it's those things, those values that you a woman can teach better than them. And there's some some feeling values, some respect values that women teach so much easier than men can. Okay, like there are some you know things that my mother taught me that my father could have never taught me. You know, like just being, you know, 
the way that it, that loving and kind and and you know just downright honest you know that honesty the earnesty that sometimes it's hard to find in my masculine side i'm just gonna be honest like my mom taught me some things that my dad just could not and she is i think i won't even be half as close to god if it if it was from my dad as if it was from my mom because it just was easier for my mom to teach me certain things and some people may say what i'm saying is sexist but i don't care there's some things that women just do better than men and there's some things that men do that are better than women and it doesn't make them less equal it just means that they're different the 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 bible would tell you that your left hand is just as important as your right one your ear is just important as your eye your 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 lips are just as important as your feet your your fingers you know every part of your body has its its purpose you know and it's and it would teach you that when it says that it's not talking just about those things but each part is equal and it, without one part the whole thing falls apart and you know we see it all the time yeah you could survive with four fingers but i mean it'd be great to have a thumb you know um so it is not sexist it is not homophobic it's saying that this is what we believe by the standard of truth okay uh, based on our morality system i don't see you going at the muslims for what they believe i don't even see you going at the hebrews or jews for what they believe you go after us because we're just the, the we're the religion that won't hit you back we're the we're the religion that will turn the other cheek but it's also because they hope that you're not listening they hope that you will listen to them that they give you all the talking points they tell you that the bible is sexist homophobic that it preaches about um slavery and it tells you it is an outdated book when most of the stuff that happened in there ha is happening right now in front of us a lot of these things the only difference is that the technology is different but the way that people are acting is absolutely not different at all it's still the same stuff it's still the same stuff don't let them like lie to you like that and I'm, I'm gonna put it like to you like this if you don't believe in jesus that's absolutely fine there's nothing i could tell you that would make you want to my thing is is that don't let no one tell you not to believe in jesus don't believe in jesus because you did enough research to find out for yourself think for yourself don't listen to the left the left will tell you don't think the right is telling you to think that's what we are telling you i'm not on the left side and to be honest i'm not a, i'm not a republican either but you know what i do believe in thinking for myself you know choose this day who you will serve you choose you made the choice but do it after your for after you seek out knowledge ask questions find out why things are the way they are and if you don't agree with it that's absolutely fine but don't say you don't agree if you haven't taken the time to find out for yourself because then you're just talking out the side of your neck and you sound like an idiot even if you're the most brightest person in the room okay so I, I that's all i have to say about that i know i have some more scenes and more cutouts but i don't think that it's really needed i just wanted to touch on that a little bit just before i went to bed because hey that's just what i do uh this is your boy the big guy suchia again hit that like subscribe share this with your friends tell everybody about this channel if you agree with me tell me you agree with me if you disagree put it down in the comment section below uh if you are a born again christian proclaim jesus don't be afraid in this hour and time when persecution is coming. It's coming. We are sitting in it right now. It's not just persecution, though. It's also, are you really who you say you are? And are you really going to stand up for what you believe in? Or are you going to fall down a further and further down the hole? Or are you going to stand firm on what you believe? This is, in a sense, separating the goats from the sheep because the sheep are going to be tormented for a little while 
Are you ready to, to stand up for what you believe, Christians? The indictment is here. We're being indicted as we sit here. Are you standing on it? Are you be, um, building a socialistic Christianity that says that you don't have the right to think for yourself? That the only thing that you get is a coddled and favorable Jesus that just coddles and hugs you? Are you going to be honest about who Christ really is? Because when he returns, he's not coming with a hug. He's not coming with a, with a smile. He's not coming to hang with the, with the sinners. He's coming to separate the goats from the sheep, those who believe and those who will not, those who will repent and those who are too hearty and too foolhardy to believe that there is something bigger than them. I'm too narcissistic, to be honest. This is the time for you to make the decision for yourself. Either you're going to serve the God of your father or you're going to start thinking that it's just all a lie and it's not even needed for today. I'm here to tell you that the Bible is just as efficient as it was then. It is absolutely efficient now. And although I love you and I love each and every last one of the people under the sound of my voice. I love the Lord with all my heart, my soul and my strength. And I believe that the word of God is true. His word has already been said. He said it is finished. It is established. Anyone that takes from it, you take away your name out of the book of life. Anyone who who adds to it will will be add to their plagues, and they will and they will also have their name removed from the book of life, and they will be tormented for the rest of their life, their eternal life, and will be cast into the earth. And the lake of fire that burns with brimstone. I would suggest to you. And to anyone. That tells you. To not to think for yourself. Whether you're atheist. Whether you're agnostic. Whether you're a skeptic. Whether you're a believer. Whether you believe in Jesus. Whether you're Buddhist. Whether you're Jewish. Whether you're, you're Indian. I mean Hindu. Or uh, what's the other one? Muslim. If you're, if, No matter what your religion is. No matter what you believe in, no matter your spiritual place, if you do not take the time to find out for yourself what it is that you believe, you are doing yourself a disservice. You can be the brightest person in the room, but you'll fall for the biggest lies because you haven't taken the time to think for yourself and to find out for yourself. I found out for myself. I believe the Bible is true. You must do that research for yourself. And find out. And don't just listen to a left handed person. Who is telling you. Just let it go. Because they're hoping that you don't listen. So you don't have to listen to those laws. Do you see what I'm saying? So you can start believing what they tell you. Doing what they tell you. Living how they tell you to live. That's what they want from you. They say, oh, it's so racist. Keep Keeping you the victim. So you won't get off your, your back. At least get onto your knees. They don't even want you on your knees. They want you not thinking. And we're going to bring up a whole generation of kids who will not think for themselves. That's why I won't let my kids go to school systems now. Because I want my kid to think for himself figure it out make the right decision and I'll love him no matter what his decision is if he never chooses Christianity it's his choice and I'll respect that choice because you know why that's what a free thinker does he respects the choices of those around him that's the American way I can, I can like you I can hate you I don't even have to like the, the religion you're in. I don't have to worship. The, we don't even have to worship the same God. But we can eat at the same barbecue. Because that's what America is all about. I'm going to say that again. You and I don't have to believe like each other. For us to eat at the same barbecue. That's the American way. You and I don't have to have the same sexuality. For you and I to hang out and, eat and watch TV. 
you and I don't even have to, you know, do any. Uh, that's just how America works. It is, it's, it's, it always worked that way. I'm trying to let it go, but it's the truth. It's always worked that way. But you know, these these don't, GQ. Nobody read you anyway. 